Okay, this is the last level where you get to be the rookie sneaking around the city. Okay. The next two levels, you're still going to be the rookie. Yeah. But, like, this whole point up to the game, you've been trying to find your squad mates, mm -hmm. and this is where you find your squad mates. Oh. Or at least where you leave the main streets and get on another shooter on rails to, to find them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the last question that we got from GamerBad was, do you think Bungie announced Halo Rising, I believe he meant to reach around, mm -hmm. uh, too shortly after Halo ODST? And he means T-O-O -O shortly, right? Uh, well, <laughs> I said T-O-O, -O, yeah. but no one could tell. Anyway. Uh, no, because they are advertising the fact that ODST comes with the reach around beta, mm -hmm. with a free reach around, packed into every box. <laughs> so yeah, I, that is value right there. So despite the fact that they're not telling you when the reach beta starts, they're crackdowning themselves. They're still that's a selling point for this mm -hmm. game. But that's a selling point for Crackdown was the Halo 3 beta. Yeah, that's true. And that sold a lot of people it on a good you game. you on a good game. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And now there's a sequel to Crackdown thanks to Halo. Probably. Do you mean Crackdown 2 or yeah. APB? Crackdown 2. Okay. I think, more importantly, the success of Crackdown is going to... Uh, uh, is what kind of funded APB. Mm -hmm. I, dude, that trailer for APB... It looks so good. It looks so much fun. Like, I've never played World of Warcraft. I've never played an MMO. Mm -hmm. Cause, but I've played lots of... I, I played the shit out of Diablo 2. Mm -hmm. And World of Warcraft, I've seen people play it. It's not like... it's. It doesn't feel that action heavy. You're just like, you press a button and then you watch the guy do it. <laughs> kind of like mean? Halo? Well, no, 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 no. Like, you press a button, and then he, your guy stands there for a second and casts a spell. Mm -hmm. Or you just, like, hit attack, and he continues to attack on his own. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a shooter, you know, you're walking around, you're dodging their you're bolts. Aiming. You're aiming. Mm -hmm. It's skill-based. It's not just... Maybe that's why it's so popular, because it's not skill-based. World of Warcraft? Yeah. It's just whoever can invest the most time? Yeah. Maybe that is by... I have no well, idea. Well, I've never watched uh, World at uh, World at Warcraft. World of um, Warcraft. I've watched Jesse play EverQuest. Uh huh. A lot, and it looked like the dumbest thing. And this was probably ten years ago. Right. And it looked so boring. He would just like hit the bo button, and his sword would just swing, and then it would say like how much damage it did. Yeah. It wasn't like. Real time swinging the sword. That's just like a crappy animation of like a sword, and it's like you got a new piece of armor. That's kind of what I feel like uh, World of Warcraft is. Huh? Something in the sim in a similar vein. But I'm not really well, sure. Oh, this is Halo Three. ODST. We got way off track. Huh? Oh yeah, but <laughs> but but my point is that APB looks awesome because it seems like it. Ha a first-person shooter, well, actually it's a third-person shooter, but mm -hmm. uh, it's it's an MMO shooter. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto style. Yeah. So it replaces the shitty Grand Theft Auto controls mm -hmm. with shooter controls, <laughs> a keyboard and mouse, and it, uh, it at, like, if there's good RPG elements to it, mm -hmm. like... That would be and crazy good, good fun. Good clan support and well, like those teams you can make or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've never really been super interested in an MMO before, but I'm very interested in that. And uh, yeah, and I, I guess that kind of goes back to the last question: What would kill World of Warcraft? Mm -hmm. I don't think anything ever will kill it, but I think another game could certainly surpass it. Yeah. And I think that all these sci-fi MMOs that come out every couple of months, like mm -hmm. Aeon is coming out soon, mm -hmm. and Star Wars The Old Republic, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Star Wars The Old Republic might be fun, but a shooter MMO mm-hmm. would be a hundred times better. Give me the Halo MMO. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Or World of Call of Duty mm-hmm. or whatever. That would be awesome. So, yeah, I guess that answered his question about Bungie announcing Halo reach around too early. <laughs> No, but uh, I don't think that they announced it too early just because they... It's coming out next year. Microsoft clearly knows that this is not a full product, yet they're charging you $60 for it anyway. Mm -hmm. So they want you to feel like you're getting some extra value for it. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're letting you know that even though there's no real new updates to multiplayer for this, Mm -hmm. you will get to try the next Halo multiplayer. Well, and one year away isn't... Well, too soon to, to be, be announcing something. To be determined, right. dude. You never know with something like that if it's actually going to come out on time. That's true. You've got me cornered. I'm low on ammo. If you can hear me, I'm on sub level nine. Communication. 